Okay guys, so all the information you need is in the description. This is a, well, it's in the description. It's pressure washing, uh, pressure washing nozzle. I can't even speak today. And one of the first things I recommend doing is getting some sort of grease on this fitting here that is compatible with rubber O-rings and other petroleum products that might be found inside of your hose attachment. It makes it a breeze to put on and off or take on and put on, take out, you know what I mean. Anyway, you're going to take these screws out. I've already done this, okay? There's two screws that are longer. I have marked the positions. One goes in here, and one goes in here, okay? I don't know why these two in particular are longer. I would have thought for sure that they would have both gone in here, as that's right next to each other, but it is what it is. You can see that it is not very much longer at all it's actually quite negligible but it is indeed a different size just barely so not that it's super important anyway let me zoom out here once you get those screws out um, well first off you may find that I've been using this for about three years now without a problem it's just twenty dollar I got this one off of uh, Amazon works good works good for what I need to do uh, washing cars and whatnot so you may find that it leaks out of here or here or somewhere in between after uh, some sort of period of time continued use or maybe not but anyway once you've got these screws out there's nothing that's going to fly out there's no springs there's no gears it's actually a really simple mechanism once you get those screws up you're going to pop these covers in half and as you see nothing is flying out there's no magical anything in there it's just uh this isn't even glass fiber reinforced plastic guys by the way or yeah it's definitely not it does what it has to do anyway you're gonna take that out and then this mechanism is gonna come out here just like this and i've already fixed mine but i just figured maybe some folks might get some extra use out of a video showing how to do this uh, all you're going to need to fix this particular model is some good old PTFE tape, a.k.a. Teflon tape. This stuff is used for all sorts of threaded parts and whatnot. Anyway, what's going to happen is you're going to have to either lightly apply pressure to this side here by you know putting your foot on it or what have you and spinning this off okay now these are just pipes simple pipes with a fitting on the end of it there's nothing fancy or special and actually the valve that's in here is just your good old uh, spring valve uh, not a spring valve a, a ball and socket type of deal it's very simple there's probably only two moving parts in here anyway once you get this fitting off you're going to wrap the Teflon tape or PTFE or however you want to say it. Let's say that this is the pipe. You're going to wrap the Teflon tape clockwise. So anytime you're doing something with Teflon tape, I don't know, you may know this already or whatnot. Well, let me just do this first. Here's one point where you can fix it. Here's another point where you can fix it. Another point and another point. I didn't feel like clamping this down in the vise to get it the rest of the way off to get this off or clamping this down in the vise to get that off. Um, I'm just going to try it here and if that doesn't work then I'll move on to the next step of clamping it down and doing the other two connections. But I'm fairly certain it was this front one that was leaking. I attempted to take the bottom one off just to do it anyway and it ended up spinning out here. That's how I figured out that these are threaded. And you could probably even find a longer rod. Um, yeah. Anyway. What was I going to say? There's something else. That was, oh, yeah. Anytime you're putting Teflon tape on, you want to, let's say you're to, to put the fitting on. I cannot even talk today, guys. I'm sorry. To put the fitting on, let's say if you have to spin it clockwise, meaning a standard thread, you're going to put the Teflon tape on clockwise. 
so that way when you spin the, thr uh, the fitting on, it's not going to undo the Teflon tape. It's 2 a.m., I can't speak. If it's a counter or a reverse thread piece, you're gonna apply the Teflon tape counterclockwise. That's just the way it works. It helps uh, to not disturb the Teflon tape once it's on, because if you put the stuff on the wrong direction and you thread the fitting on, it's going to unravel the Teflon tape and you're gonna lose that seal that it's got. It's a good seal that this stuff makes. They sell a thicker version. I believe it comes in a pink or red package. Um, I would not recommend that for this. I did about four wraps on each one of these pegs and these pegs are only about oh half an inch or so outer diameter it's not a real big deal it's super simple stuff guys and one thing that i do think is noteworthy to point out is on the back side here there's a pin now let me see if i can get a better Ooh, okay all right yeah there's a pin there and this if i get it to pop out yeah and if i could film it geez oh pizza is very late this pin likes to pop out and just make sure it doesn't do that. That's really it. And all that does is center the nozzle, or not the nozzle, the trigger assembly. My God. I need to go to bed. It centers this on the guide so that way it doesn't fall off during operation. Now to put this back together is very straightforward. The same exact way that it came apart. You're going to take it. And by the way, I'm almost certain that there was a pin on this side, but, uh, mm -hmm. you take it, you're just going to set it in there. It's got its own alignment spot where everything sets down. And maybe possibly be careful that the Teflon tape doesn't go too far because there's a casting mark here. That it may interfere with on its way back in. Basically, you're just gonna put that there and uh, put that there and uh, take those and uh, yeah, complete the puzzle. That's basically it. All right. Well, hope that helps somebody out there somewhere. And uh, again, can't really talk a whole lot right now. It's pretty late. Um, but anyway. Thanks for watching. You don't have to like, you don't have to comment, subscribe, none of that. I I don't care. This is not what I normally do. So, have fun.